Hey everyone! Today I have a big PSA card return video which I'd like to share with you. It's been a while since I received these cards and this video was in my archive for a long time. You might have seen some of the cards on my Instagram, but in this video I'll show you everything I got from PSA at that time. I already know all the grades, so I won't fake any of my reactions here, I'll just share some thoughts with you about the cards. Alright, let's jump into the video and see what I received. First up we have Radiant Cherizard in PSA 9. Such a fantastic card, although I was hoping for PSA 10. Hopefully I'll get it next time. Ok, let me just turn the stack and let's see what's next. And the next one is Zen Colony in PSA 10, a promo card from Scarlet and Violet. I graded this one from my personal collection and you will see several more promos that I send in this batch. Oh, this is a really good one, Cherizard V-Star from V-Star Universe in PSA 10. In my opinion it's one of the best artworks from the set, I'm so happy to get it in PSA 10. Moving on, we have Lithion V from Crown Zenith in PSA 9. Well, unfortunately it's not a 10, but it's still an awesome card to have. Oh, this is what I was saying about promo cards from Scarlet and Violet. It's Don Doza and I got PSA 10 for this one. As far as I know, there are only 32 cards in PSA 10, that's so cool. Next up is Speed Ups from Scarlet and Violet in PSA 10. Not the best card for grading and I think I'll just sell it. Ok, what's next? And here comes one more card from Scarlet and Violet, it's adorable Pachiriso and I got fantastic PSA 10 for this one, so nice. There is a cool story for this Pomo. I have pulled 3 cards and someone on Instagram said that they already starting to hate this card. Here comes Grievart in PSA 10, I just love this card and will keep it in my personal collection. And the next one is... Radiant Green Ninja in PSA 10. I really like the pattern on Japanese Radiant cards, it's way better than on English ones. Moving on to the next card and we have Professor Turo in PSA 10. Unfortunately I haven't pulled any of Miriam cards from Scarlet and Violet, I just got 2 or 3 Turo cards. This is the gem of this PSA return, it's Lugia V from Silver Tempest in PSA 10. This card is definitely staying in my personal collection, it's the best one I have ever graded so far, and definitely the most expensive one. And here comes Glacian V from Crown Zenith in PSA 10. I have much more luck with this one than with Lithium. Alright, so far so good, moving on. One more nice card from Crown Zenith, it's Keldeo in PSA 10. I just love the artwork on this card, it's so good. And here comes the Japanese Cyclizar promo card in PSA 10. This was a decent pool and I love to have it in PSA 10. Ok, what's next? And here is a little disappointment, it's water energy card from Crown Zenith and it got PSA 9. Well, not every card should be 10, right? Back to Japanese cards, we have Iron Threads in PSA 10. As I always say, it's much easier to get PSA 10 for Japanese cards, the card quality control is just on another level. Arcanine EX in PSA 10, lovely card, not too much valuable, but still good. Next up we have Miraidon in PSA 10, another nice pool and I'm happy to have it in top condition. And the last one in this stack is Eternatus VMAX from Darkness Ablaze in PSA 10. I'm not a huge fan of rainbow cards, what do you think about them? Alright, the first stack was pretty good, I got a lot of 10s and only 3 PSA 9 cards. I think this is a really good start, let's see what I get in the next stack. And we have Edamon in PSA 10. At the moment of uploading this video, I already sold it. Alright, let me turn this stack once again. And it's going to be one more Japanese card. So it's Speed Ops from Scarlet and Violet once again in PSA 10. And now we have Lucario and it's PSA 9. 
Unfortunately, this card is pretty cheap in PSA 9. Next up we have Comfy in PSA 10. That's a cool and cute addition to my collection. I love this card. Ok, moving on. Now we have Toxic Rogue in PSA 10. I think Toxic Rogue is my least favorite Pokemon. Oh no, it's Great Tusk in PSA 9. That's kind of disappointing, X cards in PSA 9 cost next to nothing. And here comes one more amazing card from Vistar Universe, it's Golden Dialga in PSA 10. Such a lovely card, my son and I were so happy to pull it from the very first Vistar Universe box. Next in line is Rotom V from Crown Zenith. Luckily I got it in PSA 10, because it's pretty useless in PSA 9. And this is Pikachu VMAX in PSA 9. Unfortunately, these cards are going in a pretty bad shape right off the box, so it's really hard to get them in PSA 10. Moving on to Mimikyu in PSA 9. It seems I'm out of luck. It's so sad to get such a cool cards in PSA 9. Alright, let's move on. And this is really bad. It's Hitran in PSA 6. I just wonder what happened with this card. I mean, I checked everything before sending it to Graydon. It couldn't be 6, at least 8 or 9, I don't know. Next up is Moldris and PSA 9. Not too bad, but I was hoping for better. Ok, moving on to the next card. And we have Arbital in PSA 9. So, I'm starting to get a lot of PSA 9s. It's not cool at all. And here is Passimian in PSA 9. I wanted to keep this one in my personal collection if it gets 10, but no luck to date. Next up is Hope in PSA 7. This was a fresh pull and I definitely checked the condition before sending it to Gradient, so it just can't be 7, I, I can't believe in that. It seems PSA messed with this card so bad. Alright, now let's see the grade for B. It's PSA 10, finally 10, looks good to me. And here is Cherizard from UPC in PSA 9. Well, I'm not even surprised that it got 9, all of them are pretty worn right out of the box. And this one is even worse, it's PSA 8, that's just a disaster. Alright, the next one is one more Cherizard from UPC, once again in PSA 9, nothing new here. And the last one is Merip from Crown Zenith in PSA 10. That's a good engine for the video. Alright, thank you so much for watching this roller coaster of PSA card return. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.